is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. Okay, if you guys follow the channel, you know we've been discussing recently a lot about the S22 Ultra and how it kind of compared to the Pixel 6 Pro. Well, one of those topics of debate were actually how fast these two devices truly do charge wired. Uh, there really hasn't been a lot of debate about the wireless aspect, but uh, Google kind of piqued some interest when they said how fast their phone charged. Um, they were not or I should say nobody that really has been reviewing these or doing full videos on them has shown truly getting what Google estimated for that fast charging capabilities. Um, having said that, we wanted to go ahead and take the first steps with the S22 Ultra and put the 45 watt charging to the test that Samsung has said it will charge at. Now, obviously having said that, you know you're not gonna pull in 45 watts for the entirety of the charging process. It'll destroy your battery, so it will taper off as you go. But having said that, what I wanna do is we're at 22% right now, as you can see. We're gonna get this baby down to about 1%, and then we're actually gonna use Samsung's super fast charger, the 45 watt charger, right? And plug it in, and we're gonna use that in connection with that power delivery, the PD charging, with this cable to show you exactly what it's gonna read for the charging speeds. So obviously we're expecting to see around that 45 watt note right at the bottom. When we first start, it should really kick in at those higher watts to charge it the quickest while the battery is the most depleted. Now, having said that, um, if that's what we see, that would be phenomenal. I'm expecting it to somewhat taper off in the 30 uh, range for some reason I just don't see it fully charging at that 45 watt speed just because of everything that's been going on recently with these devices but I hope to be wrong now also the way you can tell we're actually going to be charging correctly because there's a lot of debate about needing the correct cable and the correct brick for this the terminology Samsung's going to be using for this is super fast charging 2.0 so as long as you see that on the display when we plug this in you'll know we're actually going to be pulling it in with the correct uh, needed hardware for it. So let's go ahead. We're going to finish draining this battery and we'll be right back. All right. So here we go. As you guys can see, got this baby down to about 5%. We're going to go ahead and lock it and attach that cable right now. And let's, uh, let's look at that initial reading from it. So right off the bat, you can tell you're getting power delivery and it's pulling in 30 right now, 33, good sign there, 41, 40, okay. That's awesome. So it's hovering right around that threshold we were wondering about. Now what I want to do, we'll go ahead and set this baby down. It is 4 o'clock, 5%. Let's let this baby charge. All right, here we are, 10 minute check-in. You can see we went from five to 28% in those 10 minutes, not too bad. You can see right now we're pulling in right about 30 watts, bouncing between 30 and 31. Um, so all right, not too bad. 10 minutes, we got 25% basically. Let's let it keep going, we'll be back. So the camera actually cut off, it got a little warm, but as you can see, heading back into it, we're at 75% now, 35 minutes into the charging session. So that means we gain 70 percentage points of battery in about 35 minutes. Not too bad. You can see we're pulling in right about nine and a half watts. That's been up and down and up until it hit 75%, honestly, it was actually hovering closer to 20. Um, that is not too shabby considering it's that the battery is hitting its capacity and it's still pulling in that much wattage. Uh, not too bad. I'm pretty impressed, Samsung. Hopefully that'll stick true and this last 25% won't be too long. I know it's saying 27 minutes remaining. That is pretty much accurate 90% of the time. Let's let this play out, see what happens. If it turns back off, we will come back and let you know the final time it took to finish charging this device. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, 
so here we go guys it has been exactly one hour since we started you can see we're at 98 percent with two minutes remaining till full and we're pulling in about 7.2 watts even at this point the phone is actually not that warm at all considering how long it's been charging at this uh, faster rate of speed so i gotta say i'm pretty impressed with samsung you are again waiting an hour to get or I guess what's going to equate to a little over an hour to get a full charge, but at least you can see from that quick burst to get that, uh, you know, over 40 plus watts of power delivery, uh, that's not too bad. So if you're in a pinch and you need to go ahead and get a little uh, extra boost, here you go. This will work. That, uh, that 45 watts is definitely not too gimmicky. Definitely impressed. Now, obviously, this doesn't touch some of the new features that Oppo Fast Charging has. Um, and something we're going to see on a new OnePlus device, rumored to be the new Nord coming out in a couple of months. So these get ran circles around with 120 watt fast charging. That's because the battery split in two. So take that for what you want. But still, for a mainstream device to have 45 watts at this point, I think that's acceptable. Still faster than what a lot of the other manufacturers are doing. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Here we go. You can see right at 99% with about a minute remaining. Um, would put us at what 62 minutes or so of charge not ideal not the best but still very impressive enough I think the iPhone 13 Pro Max right now takes about 90 minutes or so don't quote me on that but we could put this to the test next to that if we needed to in the near future comment down below let me know do you want to see any speed tests for charging uh, amongst this the Pixel 6 Pro the iPhone 13 Pro Max or any of those let us know but for now we're going to sign off with this one Thanks for watching, guys, and we will catch you in the next one. Peace.